If you are raising money for your startup, chances are high that you come in contact with the terms convertible and safe note. In this video, I will talk about the difference between the two and why it makes sense to use them for your fundraising. Let's start first with how startup investing in general works. When you are starting, you and your co-founders own 100% of the company. For most businesses, you don't have enough profits to cover all of your expenses from the get-go. To finance these losses, there are two main methods. One form is debt, in which someone borrows the company money and gets the money plus interest back at a defined time. The other form is equity. In exchange for their investment now, they get a certain percentage of your company and all of its future profits or exit proceeds. As most startup ideas are pretty risky, investors tend to use equity financing because the upside is way higher in the long term. But let's come back to our notes now. Both convertible notes as well as safe notes are a way of simplifying the fundraising as the documents are standard and you don't need much work with the lawyers and on the other hand because some relevant questions like the valuation of your company are transferred to the future. Let's start with the convertible note. A convertible note is a loan that lets investors turn the debt into equity at a later time. It is often used in the earlier stages when founders and investors can't agree on a valuation yet. From a technical standpoint, the investor borrows money to the company. Together, they agree that at a certain point, for example, the next financing round with a price valuation, they get shares of the company instead of getting their money back. The price at which a convertible note is converted to equity is determined by one of two factors, and these two factors are also the stuff you have to negotiate. The first one is the valuation cap. The valuation cap is the highest value at which a convertible note can be turned into equity. If the valuation cap is, for example, 5 million and the post money valuation is 10 million, then the holders of the notes invest as though the value would be 5 million. The terms for the investor are better if the cap on the value of a convertible note is lower. Number two, the discount rate. A discount rate, rather than a precise value cap, provides note holders with a discount on the valuation when they convert. For example, if the discount rate on a convertible note is 30% and the post money value of the equity round is 10 million, note holders can participate at a $7 million valuation. Some convertible notes include a valuation cap as well as a discount rate. As a result, the note will be converted at the lower of the two possibilities, benefiting investors. Let's take a look at a quick example of a convertible note. An investor loans $50,000 for a convertible note with an interest rate of 8% and a discount of 20%, applicable at the time of conversion. So, if the company raises another round in the next 12 months and the company sells equity at $5 per share, the note will have earned $4,000 in interest. So, the investor will be owed $54,000 by the company. With a 20% discount, the price to convert the note into the new stock is $4 per share and the investor gets 13,500 shares of the new stock. If the investor had waited to buy the stock instead of using the convertible note, they would have only gotten 10,000 shares. This shows that there is a big reward for the convertible note investor taking the risk to invest early on. Next up, what is a safe note? A special form of a convertible security is a safe note um, or in the, in the long form, simple agreement for future equity. Safes were created in 2013 by Y Combinator as an even easier option than a convertible note. You can find the documents that are less than five pages on the YC website. The main difference is that they are not debt and so they don't accumulate interest. They work like an option or warrant and allow the investor to buy shares in a future price round. The things that you have to negotiate with your safe note are the discount and the valuation cap, similar to the convertible note. Let's take a look at two more examples. In the first one, we have a safe note with a discount of 20%. This means that we are buying 12,500 shares with our $50,000 investment. In the second example, we have an $8 million post money cap on our investment and the price round is at 10 million valuation. That means we can also buy our shares at a lower price than anybody else. In our example, also at $4 per share. After we have seen some examples of safe and convertible notes, let's take a look at the benefits. So, number one, cost effective. If we compare convertible and safe notes to price equity rounds that require evaluation, administrative and legal costs are usually much lower for these kind of notes. Number two, negotiations are simpler. In most notes, we need to negotiate fewer terms than in most price rounds. That makes the whole process way easier. 
Three, faster access to money. Startups can get funding in a shorter amount of time since the process is quicker and easier. So if you need funding on an urgent basis, convertible notes might be a great choice. Four, keeping control over the company. Note holders as debt holders typically have no voice in how a company operates until their notes convert to stock. But as you can imagine with all the advantages, there are also a few disadvantages of using notes. Number one, it's risky to investors. Safe notes are not an official debt instrument. This means there's a chance they will never convert to equity and repayment is not required. Number two, losing the overview. If you are offering a lot of different notes to different investors on different terms, it can be hard to understand the influence it has on your cap table. It's, for example, hard to model what your own ownership looks like. All in all, notes are an excellent way for early stage companies to raise money. And over the last year, they have become very common. Just don't fall in the trap of just raising saves without actually planning out your equity journey and doing a proper price round at some point. I hope you liked this video on convertible notes. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos on startup fundraising and startup growth in general.